crab bowl of noodles, two pairs of chopsticks, for three people. A mother tells two of her sons to eat egg first. The older boy has doubt about it. Mom, why don't you eat? I'm not hungry. A wife whispers to her husband. Three people just eat one bowl of noodles. He advises her not to talk anymore. The older brother gets angry. Why do you eat so much? Mom has not eaten yet. The mother is not angry at all. She just asks her son if he was full yet. He says that he want to eat more. That innocent saying makes the mother feels a little sad. The older brother says, wait for me to earn money later. I will take you to eat noodles every day. The mother is dumbfounded for a while. She looks at them, then cleans up their bowls. If you are obedient, next time I will take you to eat noodles again. Then the mother takes out some change from her pocket. Boss, payment, five yuan. She gives him money. But her look is filled with hesitation. They're gotta go. There is echo of fireworks outside. This night is a special New Year's Eve. One year later, it's on New Year's Eve again in that old noodle store. The boss is preparing to clean out. They come again. Why you again? The wife hears it. She says sorry to them. Welcome to our noodle store. She orders one bowl of noodles again. It is a tasty hot bowl of noodle. Sit down please. They rub their hands together to warm them. They feel so happy. In the kitchen, he negotiates with her husband to make three bowls of noodles. Because it's coming to the new year anyway. She does not agree. If we do that, they will feel shamefaced. Then, he puts a lot of noodles to the bowl. They look at each other and smile. Done. The mother gives chopsticks to her sons. The two children immediately eat very well. Then they invite their mother to eat together. She says that she is not hungry. But she can't refuse the enthusiastic invitation of her two sons. She decides to take a sip of soup. Let's eat. You must be obedient, okay? She is taking a sip of soup. The older brother says that. This time, there is more noodles than last year. The mother looks towards the kitchen. Then she takes out her money for payment. It is 10 yuan. Just 5 yuan. The mother insists on paying 10 yuan. They tell her to take it. It is getting dark. The wife just takes 5 yuan and then leads them to the door. They have nothing to requite. The mother sheds tears and bows to thanks her. After that, they go back home. One year later, the boss is saying goodbye to those who come to celebrate for the new year. He suddenly remembers something. He gets to his noodle store. He takes off the price list of noodles, then deletes number 8. He writes down number 5 instead. His wife feels jealous. Why are you so nice to strangers like that? He explains. Perhaps, they are fortunes who comes to bless us. At that time, they come again. Table number 2. They orders noodles again. But this time, they want two bowls. The boss in the kitchen adds more noodles again. When he is covering the lid, he suddenly stops. Then keeps adding noodles into the pot. This time two brothers do not eat first. They ask their mom to eat first. She tastes the noodles in both two bowls. Then says thank you to her sons. Two years ago, their father was died because of an accident. He left them in debt. She has worked hard for many years. Luckily her sons are very obedient. One sells newspapers every day. One cooks every day. Now, she finally pays off her debt. Two brothers have good news for their mother. One month ago, the younger brother's teacher asked her students to write about their family. So he wrote a story about noodles bowls. His essay received a lot of praise from the teacher. The teacher asked him to read his essay in front of class. The husband and his wife heard it. The boy showed his deep gratitude to them. He decided when he grew up, he would open a noodle store. The wife heard about this. She suddenly cried. On New Year's Eve of 15 years later, the noodle store is full of customers. 15 years ago, the story about noodles bowls becomes very famous. Every year on New Year's Eve, the husband always keeps table number two for the mother and her sons. Everyone says that, that table is safe for the fortunes. This time he has waited for 15 years. There is a sound. Boss. Is it still 5 yuan, isn't it? Actually, they are the mother and her two sons. Two brothers have grown up. The mother has had pale hair. The younger brother has just graduated from university. The older one has turned back from America. Today they come to the noodle store again. It is still table number two. It is still 5 e one per bowl. But this time they order three bowls. This movie named A Bowl of Noodles, published by University of Media and Arts. It is derived from a famous Japanese novel, A Bowl of Noodle on New Year's Eve. This is a short film, though there are still faint spots, but there are many precious details. The first time ate that bowl of noodle, two brothers have worn uniforms. The second time, they have worn other kind of uniforms. The third time, shows that their family circumstance is changing. In this story, the appearance of the boss is not much. But sometimes, his simple behaviors completely touch people. 